Hey guys, welcome back to Slow Travel Chronicles. My name is Stephanie and we have been here in Palermo for about two weeks. And we are leaving this Airbnb and I wanted to take you around and tell you what I would do to take this Airbnb to the next level. We'll start here in the living room and really the main thing that this entire apartment needs is gonna be a paint job. And the reason I say that is they have painted all of the walls with flat paint. And I don't know what it is with Airbnbs and flat paint, but you can't wipe it down. So it appears dirty when it's not dirty. You can tell by the rest of the apartment that it's not, but it's dingy where people have touched the walls or bumped up against it. So I would suggest a paint job in the entire apartment. And we won't repeat that. Um, it's just obvious everywhere it needs uh, to be done. But we'll start here in the living room and Surprisingly enough, that furniture was comfortable. So depending on the budget that the homeowner uh, Airbnb host needs, I would leave that if they can't afford it. Otherwise, upgrade to nicer uh, furniture. If they're not replacing, I would replace those throw pillows. Those throw pillows are very old and flat and they're not really adding much of anything. So that should be a cheap investment. Also, the pictures or the boxes over the couch not a fan of that. What I would do instead would be take these four pictures here, there's five, take the four that are the exact same size and make those align across the back if you didn't want to buy new art. Also, you don't need to have art on every walls, every wall in an apartment. So I would actually take that one off, that little cloth thing off, and take those away. I have a different picture that I would move here and I'll show you that in a minute. Then I would buy a coffee table and I would actually give the couch an end table and then that way people have a place to put their drinks. This coat rack, um, if Garrett would move and or turn around, there's this little green vase here. I've actually put the coat rack there because it makes more sense when people are coming in and out that they would want to have their coat near the door and then you could move that on the other side of one of these end tables. They could even use these as end tables. Um, if we turn around, there's a lot, a lot of little tchotchke type things. That's our trash we're leaving. Um, they don't match. They're not in any sort of order. So I would either make something a little more cohesive or fill up those big spots. There are two of these chairs, one in the bedroom and one out here. And if you look at the seat, it just looks gross. Like we didn't set anything there except for maybe our laptops or something. They're actually pretty chairs. They just need to be recovered. They need a new base for the seat and a new cover. And if we go into, actually, we're not even going to go into that bathroom. There's really nothing wrong with it at all. And if we, now we'll go into the dining room. <coughs> So this is just another, and there's the lighting here is not very bright. Um, what I would do here, there's a painting behind, over on this wall. This painting here, I would actually move to the living room, and Gary will show you that here in a minute. That actually matches kind of the color in the living room, so it would be more of a focal point. And then this painting here, I would move to that wall there. And then we have two paintings here that are the same size. They're staggered in height. I would move one, this one and hang it on that wall and get rid of like, I don't understand why you would have a little teeny tiny painting like that when you have a matching one. I like symmetry, so I would, I would make it symmetrical. That bathroom there, the blue bathroom, Behind the door, there is like open piping. They need to buy a grate for that, and we'll come back and we'll show you that. So we'll make our way into the kitchen. And it's pretty functional overall, but they have like decor with little cows. And, you know, it kind of looks like somebody said, oh, we used to use cows at our house in the 1990s and we're gonna upgrade our own personal stuff. So we're gonna like bring you our leftovers. When people stay at Airbnbs, we don't want the leftovers from your house. So I would get rid of all of this cow theme or really like it, if you wanna keep it, own it and have everything, like make it over the top. 
but it doesn't make sense to have some of this stuff. Like, why would you have a cow with uh, paper in it in a kitchen? I don't understand. And then one, a cow that holds one spoon. I don't understand. Anyway, I would get rid of all of this cow decor paint, like we said, and that's really all I would do here. There's also a patio area, balcony area. We didn't use it because it's winter time. It seems pretty good. I can't really say much about it. So we are here in the master bedroom and there's not a lot to do, although there are things that need to be done. First and foremost, this bed has a fabric headboard and that's a no-no. Like, do not put fabric headboards on beds. They just kind of look disgusting like people put wet hair on there. So I would replace that headboard I would get a nice piece of art to put over the bed. Also, we'll look in this little cabinet here. It's actually a big cabinet. Hopefully Garrett can get in there. There's like this blob of blankets and none of the blankets look like any blanket I want to use. So we don't have a blanket place like that. Also, this dresser is a little scuffed up. It's actually pretty nice, but there's a big note on the front that says, don't use the linen in here because you're charged extra. So we didn't use it, but like, don't put linen here that I can't use. It's tough when you have two people that get one set of towels and there's no dryer. So you have to wash your towels. Like you have to really plan it out. You have to wash them like five o'clock at night to put them on the rack so that you have them the next day. So give people two sets of towels, don't have fabric uh, headboards. And that's pretty much all I would do in this room. Now there is a guest bedroom. We did not use it at all other than paint. I can't really comment on that bedroom. We're back in the kitchen because I almost forgot. There is a dishwasher here, but there's a note, do not use. If you have stuff that's broken, make sure you fix it. Don't leave it like that. I hope you like this week's video. Come back each and every Thursday to see where our adventures take us next. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all of the things. It really does help our channel out. Check us out on Instagram at Slow Travel Chronicles. Check out our blog at slowtravelchronicles.com. Come back next Thursday to see where our adventures take us next. And we hope you have a great week.